maxillary lateral incisors <coughs> The subtopic is proximal surfaces of maxillary lateral incisors. The diagram tell uh, shows us uh, about a uh, different aspect of the lateral incisors. This is the labial aspect. This is the mesial aspect. The central one is inci uh, inci uh, incisal aspect, and the right bottom one is distal aspect. Now we will begin with the introduction of maxillary lateral incisors. Lateral incisors are the second teeth from the midline located on the either side of dental arch distal to the central incisors. These incisors have a close resemblance to central incisors in function, form, anatomy and also support them in function. However, uh, the lateral incisors are quite small in all dimension except for their root length. Their root length appears to be relatively long and narrow. Now discussing the crown, the crown of lateral incisor is more round, uh, shorter, narrower uh, mesodistally than the maxillary central incisors. Chronology of maxillary lateral incisor. The first evidence of uh, calcification is one year. The completion of enamel is four to five years. Eruption period is eight to nine years, whereas the completion of root is 11 years. Universal number. Maxillary, uh, maxillary right lateral incisors are seven in number, whereas the left lateral incisors are 10 in number. Now coming to our subtopic, which is proximal surfaces of lateral incisors, labial aspect, crown. Maxillary lateral incisors have the rectangular shape with a slight cervical con uh, convergence. Crown is smaller in all dimension and is less symmetrical in, uh, in comparison of the central incisors. Outline of the labial uh, aspect. Mesial outline is slightly convex with, con uh, with contact area located at the junction of middle and incisal 1 by 3rd. Distal outline is more convex from cervix to disto incisal angle with contact area at middle of middle 1 by 3rd. Cervical outline is semicircular curve towards the root. Incisal uh, outline is represented by incisal edge which is rounded or little curved with rounded incisal angles. Mesio incisal angle is rounded compared to the central incisors. Now the disto incisal angle of maxillary incisors is more rounded compared to mesio incisal angle labial surfaces. The labial surfaces are uh, this surface is smooth, smooth, same as that of the central incisor. However, it is more convex with less prominent labial depression. Root. Roots taper evenly from cervix to apex. Apex is distally curved. Root is 2 mm, that is 2 mm narrower than the central incisor. But it has the same length and it is long and narrow. Lingual aspect, crown. The crown and the roots are narrow on the lingual side. This is due to the lingual convergence. Due to this, the mesial and distal surfaces can be seen from this aspect. The lingual surfaces show concavities and convexities. Now we will discuss the concavities of lingual aspect. Lingual aspect concavity is called lingual fossa, which is more prominent than the central incisors. This fossa is inverted V-shaped and is bonded inferiorly by lingua incisal uh, ridge and superiorly by uh, uh, cingulum and on the either side of the mesial and distal marginal uh, ridge. A deep groove can be uh, may be present on the lingual surfaces and extend to the cingulum. Cervical outline is semicir uh, semicircular with a curvature towards the root. Now we will discuss the uh, lingual aspects convexities. Cingulum is seen as a convexity at the cervical third. The cingulum is uh, narrow and is uh, present in the center of the mesiodistal direction. Root. 
The root is lingually narrow. Shape is a conical with blunt and distal tilted apex. Measle aspect. The measle aspect of lateral incisor is almost same as central incisor. However, it is small in all dimensions than the central incisors. Crown. From the measle aspect, crown looks like a triangle in shape. It can also be seen as a wedge shape with base at the cervical portion and apex at the inc uh, incisal edge. Outline of the measle aspect. Labial outline is convex with crust of curvature at the cervical third near the cervical line. It becomes straight from the crust of curvature in an incisal edge. Lingual outline show convexities and concavities and the crest of curvature is located at the cingulum. Cervical third of this outline is convex in cingulum and concave at lingual fossa. Crest of convexity on lingual aspect is located at the cervical third on cingulum. Cervical line is curved and the curvature is marked on the mesial side towards the incisal edge. The incisal edge is thick and slightly labial to the root axis plane. Mesial surface is smooth and convex root. Root is cone shaped and tapering to the blunt apex. Now we will discuss the distal and inci uh, in incisal aspect. We will first go with distal aspect. The distal aspect of the maxillary a lateral incisor resemble that uh, of a ma uh, mesial aspect. However, we have some differences among both. The first difference is the crown width which is thick on the distal side. The cervical line curvature is less and the third difference is that root can be seen with a developmental groove. Now we will discuss the incisal aspect. This aspect is similar to that of central incisor. The exception is that it is smaller. Labial and lingual outlines are more convex. Hence, incisors appear to be round. Cingulum is more prominent and is centered in a mesiodistal direction. Thank you.